He is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Reporting to you live here at the St. Martin of Tours Parish in Mississauga, Ontario on Easter Sunday. It's live for last week, episode 120. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So directly after coming off my fifth shift in the last six nights, driving through the streets of Toronto, off in the distance, I saw one of my former co-workers. Hi, Carmen. Long time no see. But yeah, guys, recalling this scene from a previous Live from Last Week episode, Going back to that mail that I opened yesterday, it was something that didn't surprise me, but it was a summons to possibly do some jury duty sometime in the near future. Well, today I'm heading to the Ontario courts on University Avenue to go in for an interview for jury selection and possibly be on a jury in the near future. So after a long, long day where I got absolutely no sleep post night shift, I am finally out of the courthouse but not before this sequence of events. After arriving to the general waiting room of the courthouse at 8.30 a.m. and waiting there until 10.30 for us to move to the main courtroom, where the judge went over jury selection instructions until 12.30 p.m., then randomly picking 45 people to possibly serve on the jury. And guys, guess who was the 45th slash last pick to have the juror number called out? But luckily, afterwards, we did get a 45-minute lunch break where I went back to the mini to scavenge this bag of dried pieces of mango, then reconvened at the courthouse at 1.30 to wait there until 2 p.m., where we were then notified to wait another 20 minutes as court was having a 20-minute break. Next, we waited another hour just to be moved to another room to wait yet another extra hour and a half when the clock hit 5 p.m. and they finally told us that we were able to go. But guys, here's the catch. The exception was that we had to come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. to possibly be picked as jurors for yet another trial and do this process all over again on Wednesday. Anyways, now touring the college and Spadina area, going to the downtown TNT supermarket here for the first time, doing so since they closed that location near the waterfront several years back. Where here, I was looking for something to eat before just going to the nearby BK, one that I frequented quite a bit back when I was in university. And now, before I go home and try to catch up on some sleep, I'm off to pick up the wife from her day shift downtown. And well, now to wrap up this extremely long day, we'll do a quick birthday greeting that I did earlier when I just got off my night shift. Today, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who is a legend on the Ash Bridges Bay courts. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So today, doing the morning commute downtown with the GO train for the first time, I'm headed back to the place where I was all day yesterday to see if I'm going to be picked for day two of jury selection. Woo, guys. So after three hours waiting in a waiting room, I guess the trial that I was potentially going to become a juror for met their need for getting all the jurors that they, well, needed. And at 11 a.m. this morning, I was relieved of my jury duty which is also pretty cool because now I'm exempt for the next three years for doing anything like this and being summoned for another opportunity at jury duty. So now being a free man for the next three years and being able to enjoy my life again free of worries from jury duty, we're continuing on today with a couple of birthday greetings. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my university classmates from back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you Despina. Happy birthday Despina. As well as a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I played beach volleyball with several years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you Lavin. Happy birthday Lavin. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So what exactly did I decide to do with my free time yesterday? Not having to do any jury duty anymore? 
Well, since work was short-staffed, I called in to see if I can work my scheduled night shift once again. And guys, was it ever a busy night? With first a late discharge to the floor, accompanying two anxious patients to CT to get their CT scans done, and receiving admissions from PACU in the middle of the night, this shift, as you guys can see here, had me singing. And guys, well, after night shift, sleeping a minimal amount of hours, as a matter of fact, less than an actual hour, we were able to watch some Facebook story adventures of my cousin Louis checking out Gundam things on his soul searching trip in Japan at this time. I was also able to check out the ticket prices for the Toronto Raptors play-in game that's set to happen next week, which for the casual fan, I thought the prices were just astronomical. Like, I mean, 300 level tickets for the Upper Bowl were going for as low as $164 each ticket. But moving on to other events of the day, where we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. With the first birthday shout out, going out to one of my high school classmates who I reunited with back in my YSIC days. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Catherine. Happy birthday, Catherine. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering teaming up with on the Curtis Blizzard soccer team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Stano. Happy birthday, Stano. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now, moving forward, the wife and I tonight are celebrating a couple of things, including a date night, payday, not having to do jury duty for the next three years, and enjoying a last supper in preparation for Good Friday fasting all day tomorrow before celebrating the Holy Weekend. So this evening, the wife and I are at the Chartwell Shopping Center to check out the newly opened Sushi Legend here in Scarborough and enjoy some delicious all-you-can-eat sushi. Today is Good Friday, a day where Catholics commemorate the time where Jesus Christ died for our sins, sacrificing his life for us. And as a yearly ritual, it's traditionally a day where I fast and do my own sacrifice by abstaining from eating any food for 24 hours. But moving on, starting off the day by waking up early, catching this beautiful sunrise reflecting off the downtown Toronto skyline, I was wanting to do one more Blue Mountain day trip and go skiing with the wife at the end of this season. But unfortunately for us today, she was feeling a little bit unwell. So although most things were closed, for today is actually a holiday, I was able to go out and get her some juice for her to stay hydrated and feel a little bit better. But that also meant that I had to go down to the locker and say goodbye to the skis and the snowboard, putting them away until next winter season. But one thing that did bring my spirits up was that after hearing about this from one of our friends, G, there's this new app that I want to use called Too Good To Go. And before I get started, no sponsorship or royalties or anything, but evidently it's an app that allows restaurants and local stores to sell their unsold food and goods, including some pre-prepared meals for affordable prices which I think is a win-win for everybody, as restaurants and stores get to sell off their products and not let anything go to waste, and consumers get products and get to eat meals at some discounted prices. But yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys posted when I will try this new app in the future. Anyways, before I wrap it up for the day, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. 
With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my cousins out there who I always reunite with during Christmas at 52. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my longtime FSAT friends who, in the future, I'm excited to go check out a wrestling event with him. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Royce. Happy birthday, Royce. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after passing out early last night, then waking up early this morning once again, I broke my Good Friday fast in the middle of the night by eating a couple of goodies that the wife made last night in the form of this banana chocolate chip cake, which were made from Icelandic chocolate chips that the wife got from her Iceland trip a couple weeks back. In addition, this morning, I was able to catch the Toronto skyline sunrise for the second day in a row. And boy oh boy, these videos and pictures just don't do it justice on how big the moon was in the distance. Anyways, back to the wife not feeling the greatest after her illness from yesterday continued on to today. We visited another shopper's drug mart after seeing an ad on TV that pharmacists here can prescribe meds that could help the wife get better. And after checking in for an appointment there, while I was waiting, I decided to try my hand at the blood pressure machine there, which evidently showed that I was a little bit stressed with a slightly elevated blood pressure reading. We then went to a local flower shop in the cliffside area, where we had some of our flower decor done for our wedding, and picked up some Easter flower bouquets, which we were planning to give as gifts for this Easter weekend. Next, after going down yesterday to recharge the motorcycle's battery, of which I was last able to start in early December, I did do some really basic motorcycle mechanic work, which I know that some of my motorcycle mechanic friends will be proud of me, since I'm honestly not much of a mechanic guy, and uninstalled these seats from the bike to reinstall the motorcycle battery, and in turn reinstall the motorcycle seats, and hoped that my baby Rouge would start up again post-winter hibernation. Yeah! And once I got her out of her little winter storage corner, I took her on a quick little joyride around the parking garage to make sure she could still ride around with no problems. We also decided to go to a place that we've been to several times in the past to get my baby Rouge a nice little post-winter bath getting her ready for this time of spring cleaning. We also treated the baby Minnie to a nice little time at the spa, since she was feeling a little bit jealous, giving her a bath this evening at the same car wash. And going back to this scene from a couple of days back, there's this new app that I want to use called Too Good To Go. I finally got to try that new food app for the first time ever tonight. So while scrolling through the menu and taking some time to pick out just exactly what I wanted, we settled to buy some food from this Filipino food store nearby called Tagbuan. Woo! Our first too good to go bag <laughs> from Tagbuan. All right, G, we'll let you know how this tastes. <laughs> and guys, for the value of 18 bucks, only spending six bucks plus tax on this meal deal, this here is what we got. All right, what's in this surprise bag with a retail value of 15 bucks, but we bought for six bucks plus tax. Let's see. Ooh! Ooh, Ooh chicken. chicken. Oh, nice, I would buy some for meal. For meal. And veggies. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up for this busy day so that we can get an early start to our Easter Sunday tomorrow morning. So first of all, I want to wish my family and friends out there a seasonal greeting from earlier today. Happy Easter, guys! Now, staying up late last night, watching this thing online called an Easter Bunny Tracker, seeing where in the world the Easter Bunny was traveling to, dropping off eggs and Easter baskets to people all over the globe, I saw that they wrapped up the world tour, ending the journey at, well, you guys guessed it, Easter Island. Anyways, waking up earlier this morning after a less than six hour sleep, the wife and I drove across city from Scarborough to Mississauga, enjoying the beautiful weather outside and the music in our car, 
to celebrate an early, beautiful Easter Sunday Mass here at the parish of St. Martin of Tours. We then went to a place, as you guys can see here, that I haven't visited since the times of the pandemic, to the beautiful Spring Ridge Farms in Milton, before enjoying a relaxing Easter Sunday day with the Saga family in Saga. We also were able to spend some time with the doggo Sesame to celebrate his first birthday. Which reminds me, before wrapping up for the day, we just have a quick birthday greeting. And this birthday shout out goes out to, you guys guessed it, Sesame. Happy birthday, Sesame. I'm hoping that you're doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, that you got some birthday doggy treats, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So before I wish everybody a happy Easter Monday, with my parents earlier, we just wanted to wish my sister a happy Siblings Day. Happy lunch. Easter lunch. Happy National Civic Day, Nika. <laughs> and on the topic of greetings, we have a couple of birthday shout outs for some of you guys out there as well. With the first birthday shout out, going out to a friend that I made back in Chicago when I visited over a decade ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jag. Happy birthday, Jag. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends out there who I'm remembering was one of the nicest and most sincere people I have ever met. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Katie. Happy birthday, Katie. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of our family doggos out there who has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Baloo. Happy birthday, Baloo. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, on to today, after getting about six hours of sleep in, waking up early once again, I drove the wife this morning early to her day shift downtown, enjoying my time with her before she went into work. And afterwards, wearing this poop toque hat, which looks like they have some bunny ears for Easter Monday, I met up with the parents to go to Haka number one and exchange with them some holiday gifts and flowers for this Easter Monday. There you go. Happy Easter, Mom. And Dad. Happy Easter, Mom and Dad. Here you take that, Mom. And I can take this. We then went inside to enjoy and celebrate a belated Easter lunch together where Tita Mune and I had this coincidence with our fortune cookies. Look at this. My fortune. And then, what's your fortune, mom? Read yours, read yours, read yours. Being kind to others will bring rewards. The same? The same. <laughs> Afterwards, we then went to the cemetery to visit my Lola V, having a monthly visit with her for the month of April. Hi Lola, just here visiting you on Easter Monday with mom, dad, and me to wish you happy Easter. Okay Lola, see you next time. But yeah guys, before I go in for a random Monday night night shift tonight, we'll just have to wrap up this week's jam-packed episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.